web of heresy and corruption is spun by powerful beings and perverted minds. Hunt their leaders, and this construct of evil will come crashing down. Well, and with that, hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Machu on a another tarot mission. This time, it is actually a um, assassination mission. We have to kill a couple of targets, three to be precise. So that is quite nice. Um, to be honest, I can't remember the last time I have played on this particular tile set with the beachy sandy thing um, it looks really nice to be honest so but the um, geography should not be the main thing for this episode so we have a couple of targets we have to kill what you can see we are fighting against world bearers which are not the toughest enemies but fair enough Okay, come on, get down. Let's take those guys down as well. And I definitely shouldn't stand into fire. That is never a nice idea, I guess. So let me bring at least one down. There was a splendid hit with the <laughs> missile launcher there. Nicely done, mate. That was sharp. Um, I gambled a little bit. I was lucky not to die there without taking a inoculator, but nicely done. Fair enough. There's a um, inoculator refill, but sadly we do not need that by now. So the targets we have to kill are Hellbrutes. That is quite nice because I like them as a enemy type. Reloading. But I would prefer killing um, the world bearers before or the normal traitor marines before facing the health loot. You know, just for being not getting into too too much trouble there. is nice that's why I again really love the shotgun although I have to say I do not know how good or bad it would be against hell brutes but fair enough it is nearly down that was a nice hit luckily for us the hell brute stood right in the um, between two containers which of course by exploding them did damage to her And nicely, I didn't even need to use the digital weapons. So on we go. The teleport beacon did not save us too too much time, but anyhow, a tiny little bit. As I have said that before, that I enjoy the beacon particularly well because it saves you time. Um, not you know, it just saves you a couple of seconds per map. Not on every map, sadly enough, I do not know why, not, on, not in every mission, there are actually teleporter beacons which pull you back or teleport you back to certain spots on the map. That's a little bit sad and I would prefer it other, um, differently, but anyhow, that's not the point. Down you go. Still, I have the feeling that and that the chances of when you kill a champion or a lead guy that there are higher chances of spawning demons that's just a feeling i'll have whether that's correct i don't know reload and then i will go up against some havocs here one is down Second one will fall soon. Down he is. And let D 
the help brood um, retreat before we engage so it goes back nice loading. reloading and shooting taking down the lake within the only downside in the um, knocking back the enemies is that you not always know whether they are dead or not all right uh, he did quite a lot of damage there just by walking through us come on just 700 hp to go down he is what feels good that what is quite good, we have found plenty of weapons, which gives me a nice warm feeling that we will have a couple of upgrades coming in at the end of this episode. That always is the nicest of all feelings, to be honest. So I know I... It wouldn't have been necessary to kill those guys, but I couldn't help it, to be honest. So, that was easy. That is, of course, for the shotgun, for a shotgun lover like me, these tight corners here um, are especially powerful for the shotgun because the enemies are more packed together and it is for you way more easier to kill them overall. That is the nice part there. Okay, that didn't work out as expected. One down there, let me bugger down. Okay, so we do not have a um, Cyclone Missile Launcher Strike available. Anyhow, that should not um, leave us from killing this guy. And he is nearly down. Come on, the last couple of shots. Oh yes, so we take the chest with us and then we are actually out of here. Okay, just a trap. Alright, nice. So let us take a quick look at the items we have received. Uh, rece I was conf my mind was confused there pretty damn much too Sh less guns that is actually quite nice getting it in a uh, sadly I'm not using currently the shields but that is something that will come um, um storied carnage deal a total of um, 10,000 critical hits um, reward frozen dispenser perk um, um, unlocked with plus critical hit chance and m a minus maximum HP. Okay. Again, that would be really, really nice, but I don't want to lose my health regeneration as of now. That's, of course, a nice little shield. Okay. Um, last gun 237. That's not bad. But not good as well if I compare it to our little nice shotgun. Okay, uh, didn't we acquire a Signum or was I completely off the chart here? Or was that in the last episode? That I can't remember. Guys, I don't see anything of a Signum here. And in the end, that brings us to the end of this episode. I suppose we are going to play a normal mission again in the next episode, depending whether there is a one I want to do. So, for now, I really thank you for watching. If you actually have enjoyed this episode, guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.